Mean value theorem is an important theorem that you're going to be tested on, mainly conceptually, in this class. And I'm going to talk about what it means graphically and algebraically, and how those two things relate. So the mean value theorem states that if you have some function, let's just say it looks like this curve, as long as the function is continuous and differentiable on the interval, so let's say our interval here is from A to B, our function here is smooth, it's continuous and differentiable. If that's the case, then the slope between the endpoints of your function on the interval, so the slope of this dotted line, let's call it M, has to be the slope of some tangent line to this graph in between A and B. So what the mean value theorem guarantees, as long as this function is continuous and differentiable, that the tangent line on this curve somewhere is parallel to that dotted line. So let's think about what that means uh, in an algebraic standpoint. So how would we find the slope of m? Well, we would have to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And since we know this function is f of x, and our points are a and b, that just means f of b minus f of a y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're saying that this, the slope of that dotted line, has to be the derivative, the slope of the tangent line to this curve, somewhere in between a and b. So let's just say it's f prime of c, where c is in between a and b, somewhere. Sorry, there should be parentheses. Somewhere in between a and b, the derivative of your function should be equal to the slope between the endpoints. And that's really all there is to the mean value theorem. Uh, Rolle's theorem is a similar one, which we'll have in another video. That's really just a specific case of the mean value theorem. But most of the questions you're going to get involving this are just questions about the mean value theorem guarantees which of the following um, you know, which, which number is guaranteed by the mean value theorem, for example. So if, you, if you're given a curve, always just find the slope between the endpoints if the information is given to you, then take the derivative of the function and set it equal to that number. You can then solve your derivative very simply.